what's up a lovely good morning to everyone so today i again come up with a very useful and famous topic the topic is how you can install the prometheus server on the centos linux and how you can integrate with the grafana server guys as we know that the prometheus server is uh, basically monitoring and alerting toolkit it basically stores the matrix as a time series data prometheus server has its own gui interface where you can track the matrix however in order for better visualization you should use the grafana and those who doesn't know how to install the grafana on the centos 7 guys i have already covered this topic you can go to the playlist monitoring tool and where there is a tutorial called how to install the grafana on the centos 7 you can watch and learn it how this task is performed hello guys my name is avinash and you are watching the learning destinations if you haven't yet subscribe my channel then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so guys now i am going to directly jumping onto the practical sessions and under the practical sessions i am going to install the prometheus server on my centos 7 machines the steps are already ready with me it saves my time so i have already prepared it you don't need to worry you can take it all these steps from the description point so as of now i am just going to download this prometheus package here okay so i need to install first wget let me quickly install it okay so this is installed now now i am going to download this package okay so now i have this prometheus package and now i need to extract it so let go through the different command so let me create one user call prometheus and assigning it no cell keeping it as a false then creating some directory over here which we can use to configure our prometheus and let me create all these steps together okay now extract the file which i have downloaded okay so this is the file extracted now move this one into this particular directory and after that copy these under the usr local bin so you don't need to worry guys because i am going to give all these command from the description section you can take it from there and then take this one i'm changing here the ownership from ethesius ownership under this this is the package which is lies under the usr local bin and i'm changing the ownership as of now and if you are pretty much good enough in the linux then definitely you are getting understand what i am doing right now so i am running change ownership command and now i am copying the consoles and console libraries this configuration is little longer i guess if uh, there is any simple solution which can simply install the prometheus yes in uh, one shot like how we install the packages under the centos using the yum that would be pretty much easy rather than all these going one by one i think it is officially recommended by the prometheus official documentations and as of now there is no proper repository so we can directly fetch the repo from the yum and then after that we need to copy this one this is the configuration file which we are going to use as a prometheus server and here i am going to keep my ip address of this machine and that is 192. Dot, or let me keep it on 0.0.0.0 okay so okay fine let me save it after that change the ownership 
done and then open this file this is the file like system d file so we are going to use this file to start to stop our services and these are all the details where we have previously placed all those files so these are the details so pretty much simple there is no any rocket science i am performing as of now so if you're closely watching step by step you will easily getting understand and i'm keeping this video shorter that's why i'm going fast a little bit just to start this because all are these simple steps so there is no need to explain pretty much i'm very running simple command like copying configuring the file editing the file through the vi that sort you can see that the prometheus server has been successfully started now and we can simply right now access this or uh, under this particular address so as of now uh, since my address is 192.168.0.192.168.56.109. Okay, so now I am successfully inside the Prometheus server, which is running on the port number 9090. Okay guys, so since now our Prometheus server is ready, now time to store the node exporter. So basically node expo exporter is the package which sends matrix to the uh, Prometheus server. And from the Prometheus servers, we can monitor the client through the node exporters only. Okay, so now uh, we need to install the node exporter so it can keep sending the data about the health check of the client machines, right? And in order to install it, I have another machine which IP is uh, 106 and I'm going to install node exporter on this particular machines. So your step is already ready with me here. Uh, let me show you that. So from here, so I'm going to download this package first. Node exporter. So package is here. Now let's untar it, extract the file. Okay, now create this user or node user. Create it. Then after that, move this under the USR local bin. Move. Then after that, open this file we can start and stop so basically we are going to create the system d file let's put this here save it come out then after that reload the demo then start it Take the status, enable it as well. It is not necessary, it's up to you totally. Now it's time to access this. So this is uh, our main Prometheus server, which is running on 56109. And now I'm going to access the node exporter on 106901 matrix. Okay, so as of now, we can easily see that these are giving the matrix like CPU utilizations, node CPU, total second counter, and memory steps, states, it is already giving the memory states as well, okay? So now we need to configure these settings inside the main Prometheus server, so it can fetch the data and we can see the data here, okay? So now it can be done, let's see that. So again, we need to edit this file, return to the your Prometheus server and open this file. We need to use vi command as we is not installed on my system. And here I need to add these lines. Another job. So it can monitor and make sure that your, your since it is under the YAML, the syntax is YAML, so make sure that 
your syntax should be aligned properly otherwise you will get indentation error i think it should be okay the syntax is okay it easily allow me to restart the prometheus server let's start it so i think the syntax is okay let's check the status perfect okay so now time to verify it okay so this time i am going to use this one under the target sections rather than graph perfect so now you can see that it is showing the end point this one the matrix showing as of now this one let me go through it once again so let me check some stats value as well graph value sorry and i'm going to select some node memory 3 byte so i need to go here node scroll little up node memory 3 byte this one execute and it is giving me the stats the value this one okay so in such a way you can execute the other stat as well and you can see everything whatever you want you can mo do more research one by one on each options and accordingly you can check that okay guys so now i am going to show you that how you can integrate this prometheus yes server into the graph map for better visualizations so i have already my graph map server is ready and those who doesn't know how to configure and run graph map server on center 7 you can watch my videos which is under the playlist of monitoring tool so you can check it from there so now in order to uh, integrate your prometheus server into the graph map you need to go through the data source and here a couple of options is there right you can check that so i am going to take prometheus yes i'm going to choose it and now here so name you can give it as per your uh, convenience and then here you need to give the url of your prometheus yes server which is 192.168.56.109 in my case so i am going to keep it there as it is running on 9090 then access server default is okay and uh, apart from that like uh, if you have set the credentials right so you need to enable it but in my case is to i haven't set the credentials on prometheus server so i am just keeping it as disable it apart from there are various options so you can play with these options you can go to the official documentations of the graph na prometheus and you can check it all these options uh after that it's okay <coughs> so sorry for that so you need to only mention these things url the basic configurations access and after that uh manage alert via alerting ui which is by default enable then you make sure that this is the post method is enable and that's all save and test so you can see that successfully you can see this message data source is working <coughs> it means that we have successfully integrated our prometheus server with the grafana okay so now let's check and run some queries go to explore and here you can see that the prometheus right the the data source which we have added by the name prometheus it is there and now we can see the query type right so you click here matrix browser and you can check everything like i am going to check something for you so node memory receive i am going to check let me open it so okay you can check anything node memory free bytes and come down and say use query right so you can see that it is fetching the matrix from the prometheus server and prometheus server basically fetching the actual matrix of 106 this one and this is the same we are seeing here as a graph okay so guys uh, you can uh, uh, you can just query for other queries as well whatever you want you can just put it here come down 
use query right so all those queries you can simply come here and you can run the queries okay so this is overall procedure that uh, how you can install the Prometheus server and uh, you can start it on the 9090 port in order to fetch the matrix you need to install the node exporter and which I have installed on one of the another node which I, I have used as a client of my Prometheus server and after that I have configured this under the YAML file under the configuration of Prometheus server so it can fetch all the details and finally we have integrated this Prometheus server under the Grafna under the uh, data under the data source sections and that's how that now we are able to query all those actions so this is all about the procedure guys it's pretty much simple little bit there are more uh, i mean i can say that there are plenty of steps but each step is very simple it is just we are some uh, sometimes we are just editing the file we are copying the file we are changing the ownership that's all there is no any rocket science the, sim, uh, the process is pretty much simple so you just go play with that try to install try to execute uh, many queries and uh, since there are other data source as well so you play with the other data source as well like we have seen that there is a data source of influx db and other as well so you can try to play with that and if you face any error and if you have any uh, like a trouble in configuring the prometheus server just write me in the comment sections and i will help you there Okay, so that's all for the day. Just try to install the Prometheus yes, and integrate with the Grafna. And if you face any error, just write me in the comment sections. If you want me to cover any specific topic, you can also write me in the comment sections and I will take it. While configuring it, if you face any troubles, just let me know. I will help you there. Guys, one more request. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Share my channel with your friends and colleagues who are learning enthusiasts. I will see you in my next tutorial. Till the time, thank you so much for watching this. Stay tuned with the learning destination. You have a good day, guys.